Each dialysis filter usually contains between 10 to 20,000 tubular hollow fibers, which are made up of the membrane with about 80% porosity. This means 20% of the entire membrane's structural volume is made of solid material. Which materials enable the creation of such structures? Historically, the first membranes were made of polysaccharide from pressed cotton, substituted or unsubstituted cellulose with cuprophane as the primary product. Cellulose membranes dominated dialysis therapies for almost three decades. Thereafter, membranes made from synthetic polymers such as polysulfones, polymide, polyacrylonitrile or polymethylmethylcrylate replaced cellulose membranes because of their versatility and improved hemocompatibility profiles. Some of the aspects which have further advanced membrane hemocompatibility include membrane geometry, pore size and distribution, cut-off and dialysis modalities. The removal of uremic toxins and excess fluid from blood depends on both the diffusive and convective properties of a dialysis filter. In hemodialysis, the membrane allows to run the patient's blood and dialysate side by side in a counterflow direction, separated by the membrane. By the principle of diffusion, uremic toxins of high concentration in the blood move across the semi-permeable membrane to the toxin-free dialysate. Because of this mechanism, hemodialysis works best on the removal of small, water-soluble molecules below 500 daltons of size, such as creatinine or urea. In contrast to hemodialysis, hemofiltration applies convection for the removal of fluid and middle-sized uremic toxins from the patient's blood. The pressure difference across the membrane is called the transmembrane pressure and defines the ultrafiltration. The ultrafiltration coefficient is a measure of dialysis efficiency. Both the transmembrane pressure and KUF define the ultrafiltrate production, regulating the rate and amount of fluid flow across the membrane. The filtration process is influenced by factors such as the hematocrit or protein concentration, which can absorb to the membrane and limit the filtration efficiency.